Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. Today I am going to give you a small demonstration about a very important and very simple topic uh, which is called ductility. Now uh, those who are studying civil engineering and who are studying structural engineering, this term is very familiar to all, uh, all of us and those who are not uh, in from civil engineering background and maybe who are not from engineering background today i will make you understand this con concept like anyone uh, who is watching my video you can understand this uh, concept very easily so uh, let's get started when we are uh, as a civil engineer or as a structural engineer when we are designing a building or a structure in a uh, zone where we have higher seismic activities like earthquake activities in a simple uh, way uh, if you think what do we want we want our structures to withstand the forces right to withstand the uh, seismic uh, forces the earthquake forces uh, and uh, we do obviously do not want our structures to co uh, to collapse right now uh, let us just assume that in a very high seismic zone like i am in tripura and i am in seismic zone 5 okay uh, in india we have four seismic zones right or five, uh, four seismic zones, two, three, four, five. So I'm in seismic zone five and uh, obviously a critical seismic zone. I don't know whether it is correct, but as per the code, it is a critical seismic zone. Now in, seismic, in such seismic zones, suppose I have a building like this pencil and I have a building like this pen. Now this pencil is a wooden pencil and it's a pen uh, made up of plastic or similar kind of uh, material. Okay, so now as a uh, as a owner of your building what you want your you want your uh, structure to withstand the the force during the shaking right earthquake shaking so suppose the we have the earthquake shaking and we are having the forces on your building okay so what i will do i will just apply some forces on this building suppose let us let us assume this pencil as a building and i'm just applying some forces on this so after applying this force if you see there is no deformation of this pencil right there is no deformation so what you will say yeah I, I my my engineer have designed the structure very well pretty well because i have not get any uh, deformation in our structure is pretty cool right now let's take this pen okay let's take this pen and i applying the same forces now you can see we are having some deformation maybe much uh, more than the deformation in the pencil but when you leave it is it is in the again in the same shape right so now uh, so what we have understood that this this pen uh, this pen is not uh, designed for uh, taking more forces than this pencil right because we we were observing some deformation in this sorry in this pen but in this pencil we have not seen any any deformation till now so now what i will do just keep uh, just observe this pr uh, properly what I will do, I will just keep increasing the force. Let us keep increasing the force. Just, just be prepared for the sh shocking moment. I am, I am just increasing the force. I am just increasing the force. Still, there is no deformation, so it is pretty strong. Let's, let's keep increasing the forces. Let us keep increasing the forces. You can see. Yeah. So what we have got? I have, uh, like. Uh, I have started increasing the force and at a point of time we got this pencil broken okay so now let's take this pen and let's do the same we will keep increasing the force we'll keep increasing the force we'll keep increasing the force and here we are having higher deformation right we'll keep increasing the force even after this we are having no uh, we are having higher deformation but it is not breaking it is not collapsing but if you observe this that after a certain point after a certain point of deformation this particular element or this particular structure suppose it is a building structure it is not getting its previous position again so this kind of deformation what we call what we call we call this type of deformation as in inelastic deformation right because when uh, this particular element have much elasticity it will always try to retain its uh, previous position right it is always try to uh, retain its previous uh, for form but now this is not getting its previous form it is not getting its previous position so obviously the, the kind of deformation we have got it is inelastic now what is the difference between these two uh, structures 
this particular pen obviously it was not designed suppose this particular building obviously it was not designed to take higher forces but what we have observed that even after applying higher forces it has deformed but it has not uh, collapsed but in case of this pencil it was designed to take higher forces and it has taken but at a point of time we got no alarm and it, it got broken or it, uh, you can say it has collapsed so in a seismic uh, prone zone in a uh, earthquake zone high seismic zone what actually we want what is our aim as a structural engineer or as a civil engineer or as an engineer our main aim is to safeguard the people who are living in the building so obviously uh, as a civil engineer or as a structural engineer you have to accept this truth that in any natural calamities we cannot we cannot make a resisting or you can say uh, a building which can resist the total force at a point of time if the seismic activities keep going on I mean, suppose two minutes five minutes ten minutes at a point of time the building will collapse so what is our aim we cannot we cannot protect our building uh, in, a, in a very severe uh, seismic activity so what will be our main aim our main aim will be that the structure that i have designed in this structure the people who are living in it they must get enough time to go out of this building during the seismic activity now if i compare these two buildings in this particular building there was no deformation during the seismic activity or during the uh, like when i was uh, keeping i was increasing the force there was no deformation suddenly we got that uh, we found that this building is uh, building has collapsed so what will happen there will be loss of lives obviously there will be loss of lives but in case of this building it was deforming and obviously it is not usable uh, anymore right it is not usable anymore so it it was deforming it was not collapsing uh, internal damages obviously there will be the uh, internal damages like suppose this is a building the glasses will break uh, the windows will break the windows will damage the doors will be damaged but the floors will be damaged but the structure as a whole will not be uh, it has not collapsed right so that is what ductility is that uh, even after its yield point you will have enough time like it will show you more deformation before collapsing okay so you will have more time to uh, came out of the building okay so in the seismic zones our aim is to make the structures ductile rather making it <laughs> strong like this pencil okay so don't be confused that your building is strong enough to extend the force maybe your building is like this that at a point of time it will collapse suddenly and someone have made a building which uh, you are observing some deformation in it but in a major seismic event this building will be safe enough for you than this particular building okay so that is the real concept of ductility actually i hope uh, you have got a like i i tried my best to uh, make you understand i hope you have understood this and if you have any other uh, query regarding this you can comment on uh, on my uh, video and see uh, while making this video i have just lost one of my pencils so please not for me for this pencil give a like to this video uh, please do share to your colleagues so that uh, they can also watch my videos and uh, so uh, and if you are not a subscriber of my channel please do subscribe i will uh, keep uploading the videos on structural engineering and different uh, civil engineering concepts and obviously i will try to give you the contents on uh, contemporary skills that is uh, required in the civil engineering industry today so thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next video